Thailand is building one of the world's biggest floating hydro solar farms. The 300-acre venture marks a significant shift towards a greener future for the Southeast Asian country, after years of criticism over its heavy reliance on fossil fuels. Chanin Salichan is at the helm of the Surinthorn Dam project. We are currently at 90% completion. The project area is divided into seven platforms of floating solar cell panels. We've already installed five and a half platforms. There are still one and a half platforms to work on, which we expect to complete by the end of April. And we think we'll be ready to distribute electricity with this by the end of June 2021. The state-run Electricity Generation Authority of Thailand says the hybrid station should have capacity to generate 45 megawatts of power from over 144,000 units of solar panels installed on the reservoir. An energy management system will be used to switch between solar and hydropower, depending on which has more strength to generate electricity to allow for continuous power production. In terms of power generation, there are limitations when it comes to solar power. So we eliminated these limitations by continuously generating power via a hybrid system. Aside from that, we utilize everything we have here to make the best use of each component. We have space on the water surface and we have hydro power station with a high voltage power transmission system. And with that combination, it will make the cost of power generation per unit lower. Thailand's aim is to draw 35% of its energy from non-fossil fuel sources by 2037 according to their latest power development plan.